Hey guys, I'm Dr. Nicola Gaither from the Animal Hospital of Statesville here with my assistant Kyle and today we are going to talk about preventive care in cats and sometimes our clients have questions about what all that involves. So Kyle is going to ask some of those questions. Make sure I'm on the right page. Uh, so what does preventive care actually mean for cats? Preventive care for cats is, it involves a lot of different things, but basically we're trying to keep our cat healthy and we are trying to do things that will prevent problems from happening. And that can involve whether it's parasites, whether it's vaccinations, or whether it's even just uh, nutrition and husbandry. There you go. How does cat preventative care help my cat? It can help in a lot of different aspects. So we think about our younger cats. Uh, they, their immune systems are not exposed to a lot of things. So vaccinations can prevent them from uh, catching certain diseases. Um, we talk a lot about flea and heartworm prevention and so by going ahead and preventing and treating, um, uh, applying that, that preventive beforehand, we don't have to worry about fighting fleas or fighting diseases that can be carried by parasites. What will my veterinarian, you, do during a cat preventative care appointment? So during that appointment we will do a full and complete physical exam um, that's one of the first things we do. Well, one of the first things we do, of course, is we talk about history. So we ask questions of, do you have any concerns? Because even on a regular wellness exam, a lot of times clients have questions. Um, maybe their pet's doing something that they aren't used to or um, acting a certain way and they want to just know, is that normal? That's and good for cats because cats, mm -hmm. if they change their behaviors or their habits, sometimes it's... Usually there's a reason. Yeah. Right. Because mm -hmm. um, they hide things so well. And so the full physical exam, we talk about how we examine a pet from the tip of the nose to the tip of the tail um, and so we want to look at all aspects in between um, whether that's looking at their teeth for proper dental um, uh, hygiene looking at their ears making sure there's no infections there listening to the heart filling the belly looking at the coat um, so that's a lot of what's involved in the wellness what can I do at home for cat preventive care a big thing I, I find with cats, especially indoor cats, is proper nutrition and portion control. So we know that our kitties indoors just don't get the, quite the exercise they do outside. They're not relying on hunting to survive and to be nourished. Um, we're providing that food um, and so being overweight can cause a lot of problems and so keeping that at, them at an ideal weight can prevent a lot of problems. So I think we kind of talked about this in one of the previous videos that an overweight cat can't groom themselves mm -hmm as well and diabetes you talked about right so there's several things especially that can mm -hmm. and another another thing you can do at home is um, just make sure your cat has plenty of environmental enrichment is the big mm -hmm. name that we call it um, because that can prevent behavioral issues and so behavioral issues is one of the number one uh, leading causes for um, having to rehome your pet or wanting to rehome your pet or even euthanasia, which we don't like to think about. So if we can do things to prevent behavioral issues, then that is a lot easier um, than treating it later. So things like cat trees, um, puzzle toys, uh, we have like two sides of our den have windows and I'm a bird photographer, so we have birds all over the place. The cats will just line the couch and, and watch birds. Right, so something to enrich their uh, mental as well as their physical is, sure. is perfect. Yeah, so playing with them is a little more difficult, but you know, mm -hmm. laser pointer, mm -hmm. things That's like right. that. So is cat preventive care optional? Of course it's optional, but we would say that it's very necessary. Um, and again, um, not only is it better and easier to prevent than to treat, but it's also less expensive. So if you can do those things on the front side, then you don't have to come and see me as much um, for the problems that could occur later. So do I need to consider flea and tick prevention for my cat's preventive care? Definitely. Even if your cat is a strictly indoor cat, um, and there's multiple reasons that, that will factor in, but um, especially our outdoor cats are more at risk, but our indoor cats oftentimes, um, you know, we have another pet that may go in, in and out. Maybe we have one cat that's all indoors, but one that goes in and out, or our dog that goes in and out, or we go in and out of the house. Um, and so all of those factors can put your pet at risk, and there are things that can come indoors, like mosquitoes, that can transmit worms, heartworms, um, and, and have your pet be at risk. 
so with the plea and <laughs> so with the plea and tick prevention, what I was say. <laughs> so with the plea and tick preventions, a lot of times we are protecting not only against flea and tick, but also intestinal or heartworms as well. Sure, and and you may not see any fleas or ticks on your cat that goes in and out. Mm -hmm but they groom them off a lot of times. So right. they may miss one. Um, one turns into thousands mm -hmm. fairly quickly. So right. uh, just good to have the preventive on there that takes care of, like she said, the multiple things and keeps your cat healthier. Well, if you have any questions regarding cat preventive care, give us a call and we're happy to help get your cat on a plan for wellness and um, prevention care. And just give us a call. Thank, Thank you. you very much.